It's a glimpse of American culture. It was everything from burglars and car thieves and check forgers. Rarely seen in person or captured on film. Murderers and rapists and arsonists. It was, it was everything. At America's worst prison. The only place I found criminals really look like criminals is in the movies. In real life, criminals look like us. Photographer Bruce Jackson's exhibit, Cummins Wide, is now open at the Albright Knox, documenting life behind bars at Cummins State Prison in Arkansas 30 years ago. In 1971, and I went back seven more times over the next four years. Snapping an astonishing 4,000 images. These pictures are from the last two visits. Taken with a special camera, a wide lux. These big pictures, you have to move your head. Producing prints so big and so bold. Like this one of the dining room. We literally walk into it. You become part of the image, part of a moment in time. What this camera does is it not only shows them, but it shows these four guys watching us. And it shows these three guys watching us. That is, instead of just me taking a picture of them, in a way, I'm, I'm in the picture too. Experiencing the hard labor, picking cotton in the prison fields, living in cramped quarters with 80 inmates sleeping in one room, riding in a cart as if you're sitting alongside inmates, and barbaric conditions, so bad a federal judge ruled the prison unconstitutional. Before the reforms took place, it was very brutal. Um, prisoners who didn't work hard enough or who just got the guards angry were beaten with whips. Some were beaten to death. There are 53 extraordinary images in the collection. Th look at this, uh, this picture here. Pictures that were almost lost until technology uncovered their secrets. And there are things in these photos that, as I print them now, I see for the very first time. Like an inmate sitting in the shadows, staring into the camera lens. It would be impossible to print that correctly in a dark room, but I can print it correctly digitally. Giving the viewer a fresh, unique look at a system that today is just as chaotic and cramped as it was then. The tenseness of the place, the power that the guards have over the prisoners, the youth of so many of the prisoners, how many of them look like people you know and I know, you know, how many of them look like us, that hasn't changed. So I think that, that there's a, that timeless quality to these images. Images captured in wide view, opening a wide eye. In Buffalo, John Borsa, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.